This week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by Newegg. Whether you're building a new computer or upgrading an existing one, Newegg has all the parts and pieces to make it happen from motherboards and processors to RAM and power supplies and cases and even full built systems. Uh, Newegg's got it all and stuff you may not ex expect, such as uh, uh, smart LED light bulbs or um, sometimes kitchen equipment and all kinds of interesting stuff uh, can show up, especially in the daily deals, which right now they have got um, a, oh, a Rosewill uh, optical mouse for 20 bucks. They've got a pretty great deal on a Seagate uh, two terabyte hard drive and a whole lot more. And to find all of those daily deals and uh, of course, to see all of the products that are available, you can go to Pilchpoint dot live slash new egg all right so avram i know that you've got something to show us tonight which i think is everybody's favorite is when you've got something interesting to show so as you know i have particular interest in uh in stuff that teaches kids about computers and teaches kids about technology. Indeed. I've talked in the air before. I've talked on the air before about, um, about can the Cano computer kit, which my son and I built. Uh, and here we have another product called the hack computer. Now the hack computer here, uh, if you look at it is an Asus, uh, 14 inch notebook it is called it is technically the asus e406 ma for those keeping track of all the asus model numbers at home <laughs> um it is a a notebook that is 14 inches 1080p uh pentium processor four gigs of ram and and 64 gigs of EMC mc memory and a pretty decent battery life but what but the hardware of the notebook is not really where it's at um it, what it is is it comes with the special software, the hack software, which is supposed to teach kids uh, a bit about computers and programming. And here's the here's the desktop. Uh, a little hard to see here. It looks very greenish when it's actually not that greenish in real life. Well, maybe it is. Why is it looking so green? I think because I changed the background. Anyway, um, so. Uh, so what you do in this, try to get this to where it should be, is you. There's this whole section here where there's like a little uh, little thing on the side with these characters, and the characters sort of give you little missions to do. Oh. And uh, it's so hard to see see with the light here. Hold on, let me see if I can do something about this. If I don't have so much light on my computer itself, maybe that will maybe that will work better. Okay, S maybe. All right. So anyway, you click on these characters and they tell you to do stuff. And one of the things they tell you to do, for example, here I'll click here. They'll say like, "Let's keep working on this project or whatever." And all the characters have different things that they want you to do. Okay. And then. They involve using a couple of games that are on here. One of these is called Fizzle, Physics or something. And it's like this game with all these like little dots and things like that. And to you can win the oh. to win the game, what you've got to do is you've got to hack it. So there's a little thing over on the side here that you click and it flips around and then you see code. Oh. And and you can sort of modify it to modify the game to make it easy for yourself to win. So they start off with just like you flipping these levers and then they get you into actually typing in the box with the code. Um, so there's a couple of games like that. Then um, the other thing that's interesting is, and you have to unlock stuff. So like, my son was really excited when he unlocked the ability to change the cursor okay. on this. So now the cursor is a piece of poop. But um, Of course it is. No, actually, I, I made it poop for this. He had it as a little guy, but I thought it would be fun, 
fun to show everybody the, the poop cursor. <laughs> anyway, um, but if you go in here to this part called system here, you'll see that it like shows you different parts of the computer and you click on them and it tells you about them. Although I have to say that for something that's designed for eight and up, it's a little overwritten. So like, for example, there's this whole part here about the cursor, I think. And it tells you like, you know, it has a couple of the characters like have a little dialogue about the cursor that you read on the screen. And one of them says something like, cursor comes from the Latin word career to run. Like, I don't know how many eight-year-olds or even older kids really need to know the Latin root word of cursor. You know, I think they were a little overly ambitious with that kind of stuff. Um, but the concept here is that they're teaching you about the inside of the computer. Now, it runs a version of Linux called Endless uh, Linux, which is supposed to be friendly for kids. You can install other Linux apps on it. On it. It's an app store. And the concept is that this this stuff is like episodes although i have to say we got through episode one in like you know in like an hour um i teach you these different things and then supposedly every month you download a new episode and what they're trying to do is to sell a sub, uh, subscription for ten dollars a month for this so the the computer itself is 300 bucks and depending on where and when you buy it you you may get 12 months of the subscription free but then if you want to keep getting updates after that, you have to pay $10 a month. Uh, and they'll just keep giving you these new kind of fun lessons. So uh, we found, you know, my son is really is six and he's really enjoying it. Um, but, and it has, you know, it is teaching him a bit, although it is not teaching them an actual programming language because all the stuff is sort of proprietary to what, what they're doing. Uh, and some of the plot, like I said, with the, these characters is a little too cute for its own good, like teaching people the root word and also teaching them things about the computer that I'm not necessarily sure they need to know. Like, I mean, it's I mean, there are things I didn't know, like it's teaching you about what the dev null folder is in Linux. Do do most people need to know that even if they're programming? I, I don't know. So do they need to know all about the kernel and the memory, uh, the memory manager? Like. I feel I feel like they might be better off just learning like how to write Python code or something, but um, but it's definitely an interesting attempt. The, the artwork is great. Uh, it's very done in a very sort of advanced, cute way. And you can and the and the three hundred dollars, the laptop alone is probably. I mean, I didn't find this laptop for sale by itself, but a laptop of this quality, it's got ten eighty screen and all that. Oh, probably probably worth at least 250 to 300 by itself okay uh, so although 250 to 300 by itself you'd probably be getting it with windows right uh, and this is coming with linux but uh, you know it's a it's a it's really quite a decent quality piece of hardware the um you know the software at least the first couple episodes like i said there's it's fun but i would like to see a little bit more focus on the pro you know on on programming and less on, you know, sort of the intricacies of the operating system and the and uh, the Linux operating system and then like the root words that things are based on. But um, they do a good job of gamifying things, so you unlock different stuff. And I'm kind of really curious to see where it goes with with future episodes, uh, with future episodes that they're going to put on to try and build out the content. Uh, it's definitely a very very interesting product. I encourage people to check it out. I'll be putting up a review of this shortly on Tom's Hardware, uh, and you know it, uh, it. It is a lot of fun, and if you if you look at it as you know, I'm getting my kid their first their first laptop, and I'm willing to install uh, some. You know, I want them to use some of the other software on here, um, besides just the episodes, which right now is not a ton of hours of of mm -hmm. content. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it could be it could be a good first device for for a kid. Okay, so it's obviously it's uh, um, more involved than the uh, the old like Casio or whoever made them. Not really laptops where you just had like a dog barking at you what no. how to spell things. This is like this is obviously way above no. that. This is no, a real I mean, computer 
doing real things and having having a whole uh, educational plan behind it. Yeah, yeah the educational yeah. plan. I mean, it's 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 good. Like I said, it leaves some room for improvement, and, and as they're updating and adding more stuff, mm-hmm. uh, and I would uh, like to see them in preload more software onto here Mm -hmm. there's an app store where you could download stuff but you know uh they don't really like it comes in the you know when you first turn it on you're getting like google chrome and a word processor or something and a calculator and you know and the apps that they have sure uh you know for you to learn from so it would have been nice if they put some games on there or whatever. Maybe they're trying not to confuse people by putting on too much stuff. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, of course, one of the first things I did was went and install a terminal Linux terminal on there. But uh, <laughs> maybe that won't be what kids do. But considering the level that they're trying to teach to you, they probably should come with a Linux terminal preloaded. Yeah. You yeah. know, because they, they're not dumbing it down. Yeah, that... That was the thing that I, I found kind of interesting is that they're really kind of diving into not like, look, here's how you code a little bit. Like a lot of the like a lot of the the educational platforms, they're giving you like a like a, a systems 101 course. Yeah. Yeah. It seems it seems a little highbrow to me at times. Like I said, telling people the Latin Latin root word (laughs) or getting into parts of the operating system that even if you were programming or using computers a lot, you probably wouldn't understand. Like, I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't admit this on air, I guess, but I still don't totally understand how kernels work, you know, like or, or how, you know, all the intricacies of the dev null folder like. You could be a very advanced computer user and not have a great understanding of those things sure. and be just fine. So, um, you know, so it's 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 interesting. I'd like to see them build it out with more practical stuff that actually helps you learn, like skills that you would probably use. But, um, but it's, but you know, they do have that in the sense that they're you making you reprogram these these apps and the and the. Fun thing is, like, my son immediately got it that, like, here's this game, and now I've got to hit this button. It flips around to the code mode, and now I'm hacking it. Uh-huh. And he loved that idea. Yeah. Oh, I would imagine so. That, especially as a kid, that idea of there's a there's a special button that I can I can change the game. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and they don't just, like, and, and to their credit, unlike a lot of tutorial things I see where it's just, like, Oh, here you can just do what you want, and we're not going to give you any any advice. Like there actually are, it is scripted. And there are characters, you know, that on the screen are like, now can you try this? Now try that, you know. So they're stepping you through it, and you unlock different lo- steps where you can do different things. Oh. So it's not like a lot of products that I've seen where it's like, oh, hey, here's a here's a blockly a block based code language. Now just go program something, okay? We're not going to tell you what to do. Yeah, or have fun, bye bye. Have fun, bye bye. I mean, this this is this definitely gives you the hand holding that I think you should have. Sure, uh, especially if we're talking about you know, uh, it being an, an an early educational platform. You know, it's not it's not for college students. It's yeah, de- it's for kids. Definitely not. Definitely not. Although, uh, and, although it is getting into some college level like intricacies uh, occasionally, it sounds like. But you know, it's it's not a college student thing. It's here. How about this? It, not here's a bunch of stuff. Have fun. We're off. Yeah, the funny thing is, as an editor, I kind of wanted it to edit it. Like, <laughs> listen, guys, you, you you're pitching a little above the audience um, with some of these some of the blurbs that you have. But um, but it's. Uh, yeah, but it's it's definitely pretty cool, and uh, and I would suggest people check it out, and even just as a, like, I think the coolest thing that my son has gotten out of it so far is that like he's sitting there regularly using a laptop uh-huh. and moving around the cursor and using the keyboard, and he was doing that a bit with his Kano computer, but the laptop form factor is so much better for that, and like, so he's getting a feel of like 
you know, using a computer right. um, in a, like a kid-friendly environment. Yeah, that, that sounds like a, a great benefit of the platform. Um, you said it runs 300, and we'll see a, uh, a review soon? Yeah, yes. Very cool. Well, as always, Abram, I love it when you do hands-on things, uh, and this, this one was a lot of fun.